Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see how we can create a very interactive uh, transcription, live transcription app like this using Whisper as a base model. We are not going to need any API for this. It's going to run locally in your machine and uh, do the transcription live. If you have a GPU available, but this uh, can also be done in a CPU. It will just take a little longer to run. That's it. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and start the video. Before starting with this project, I like to say that uh, all the codes for this video are already present in my GitHub. You can check the description for the link uh, to the GitHub file. First thing first, and let's import the essential libraries. Here we got the Pi Audio W patch, which will help us to capturing speaker output on the Windows. Then we have our Torch. We from the transformers library from hugging face transformer. We have a whisper processor and whisper for conditional generation and uh, the rest are kind of uh, typical libraries. We have SciPy to play with the uh, audio signals. So yeah, that is the standard setup for this uh, particular project. In the second phase we have the microphone setup. Now the important part setting up the microphone. Here is the game plan. First, your mic captures the audio, then the audio becomes data, then the whisper model does it magic on this data and gives you the text. But first, we need the Pi audio patch and why this W patch part? Because on Windows, it lets you use a loopback device. Think of it as feeding your speaker's output directly back as input. So for example, if you want to transcribe a YouTube video that has been, that has been playing in your device, the output is your speaker, but do you want to use that as an input? Then you need to use this loopback device. Otherwise, they are not necessary. Then the third phase comes to set up the mic. Here I listed all the devices on my system. Take a note of these indexes. You have to try for different indexes. You can leave the loopback device if you don't want to record the speaker. For the microphone, you have to choose one of this 0, 1, or 15. In your case, it may be different. If you are testing this in the device, if you are testing this, the device index might change based on your system. So trial and error is your best friend here. Then you choose one of the device index. I choose one, this, this particular one as my input device, which is a microphone. Once the mic is set, we configure the sampling rate. The sampling rate here is the sampling rate. For this case, it's 44,000. You can also see here. The default sample rate of this device is 44,100, which is mostly default for most of the devices. And the recording duration. Here we are recording for 10 seconds. So sampling rate, how many, how many samples it takes in one second into number of seconds. So we get total that many number of samples to capture. Whatever the data we have captured here, this data, it comes out in binary. It's like the computer saying, I know what I heard, but I won't tell you until you decode it. So we are going to convert it into NumPy arrays. This is the method for that. And we are going to bring it to a range of zero to one. For that, we are dividing it by three, two, seven, six, eight. Because this uh, the buffer data is a 16 bit integer and the maximum value in there can be three, two, seven, six, eight. So we are dividing it to bring, bring it to a range of zero to one. And after that, we are going to play, plot it. See this uh, plot. So whatever I spoke for this uh, duration at the starting, I didn't speak anything at the late later stage. It, I didn't speak anything and the X axis represent the time and the Y axis represent the amplitude of my sound. So this is going to be the input for the whisper model. So then what happens? The audio signal we have, it got converted into a spectrogram to be precise log mel spectrogram on the X axis. We have the time whatever the time it is and the y axis we have different frequencies and the thing you see here the activities they are that uh, what frequency it is present for this uh, length of time so for example from 40 to 60 we have frequencies of 0 to 10 10 to 20 but not much from 20 to 30 or 30 to 40 so that's the uh, feature extraction process you can say and this log mel spectrogram is then passed into the actual uh, transformer architecture of the whisper model. So this is the log mail spectrogram. We pass it through the encoder block 
and this encoder and the decoder are connected by cross attention so during the generation of text the model has uh, is aware of what is the audio looks like and also it starts generating from some starting text some start starting seed so for us the starting seed is uh, um, start of the transcription then the language english hindi arabic what, whatever language you choose to be and then the task whether we want to transcribe or translate then after that it starts its actual translation the quick brown fox and it does auto regressively like it generates one sentence then that next sentence is fed back then it generates the next sentence and so on and so forth and in this block of code we are going to import the whisper processor and the whisper model so this whisper processor does uh, two main tasks it does encoding and decoding from token space to text space and also it converts the raw audio input into log mel spectrogram and then the whisper model is the model that you saw just before this this particular model is the whisper model one thing to note here is that whisper model is trained on uh, audio data of 16000 uh, sampling rate so it doesn't understand if you have like 44000 sampling rate right uh, like in this case in this uh, case so we have to down sample our data to accommodate for the whisper model and that's what we do in the next phase we use this resample method from scipy to take this audio chunk and resample to the whisper rate which is 16000 for our case and then we can pass this um, uh, audio chunk data into the processor this processor and we get the input feature let's see what is the input feature it is a, a tensor of 80 cross 3000 and uh, yeah if i plot it it looks something like this so this x axis is the time axis and we have only 10 second of data here if you remember this 10 second of data and only during the middle part from uh, you know like 1 second to around 3 3.5 second we have some activity and we see that here this will be the input to the whisper model and uh, we are using torch dot no grad because we don't want any back propagation gradient calculation and then we'll do model dot generate we pass in the input feature which is this log mel spectrogram then we specify the task we want it to transcribe and the language is english so we get the predicted ids but right now the predicted ids in terms of token 10 255 but then we need to convert uh, that uh, tokens into text base for that we are going to use again processor dot batch decode we decode it and uh, after that we get this this text so this was the text i said hello everyone welcome back to my channel today we are going to talk about nothing but uh, yeah and also there are some other things here at the starting which is i just showed you here that uh, it takes the state of uh, the start of the transcription the language and the task as input and here we have that the startup transcript token the language token and the task token then this is the time stamp whether you want it to assign time stamp to each each uh, sentence or not and that's all that's that's all we have for now also uh, i created an extra uh, function to save the audio that it is recording now all we have to do is we have to run it in a while loop so this part is just importing the model uh, this part is just setting up our speaker object using py audio and then we run a uh, we create a infinite file loop and we break that loop if there is some keyboard uh, interruption and in the middle it's very simple so, so this stream object reads the data depends upon our transcription interval here the transcription interval i have set it to be 10 seconds then we convert the Uh, bytes data into numpy array normalized numpy array we resample that to the whisper model input frequency and this audio frame i am appending this this is uh, basically to keep a track of what is been recorded not necessary if you don't want it's not essential for the whisper model then we pass it through the processor the audio chunk this one and the sampling rate we get the log mel spectrogram this input feature is the log log mel spectrogram it passes through the model we get the uh, ids of the text then we use processor dot batch decode to get to get to get the 
tokens the to get the text tokens for that corresponding one and yeah you run it for example if i write right now i'll run it so now i'm going to run this and uh and after running this you see that for 10 seconds after every 10 seconds it will start uh, giving the transcription for what i have said so here you see the 10 second has passed yeah and now you see the first transcription here after that like every trans every 10 second whatever i said it, it will start transcribing but uh, yeah that is one that you don't get the live transcription you get whatever is transcribed after you know 10 second uh, 20 second depending upon your use case you can if you want a very real time transcription you can try to tweak this one like a transcription interval you can reduce this to let's say two second five seconds so you see this transcription pretty fast like after every five seconds you start seeing a transcription and yeah uh, so that was the main idea of this uh, particular video but i have also created a streamlit uh, app for the same case i'll make it available on github the app, app interface looks something like this so here you can select your microphone then the language you want to speak and uh, transcribe transcribe or translate and after you start the transcription it will do live transcription of whatever you are speaking and in the upcoming videos we'll see how can we fine tune whisper model on our own data for example uh, there are many languages which are absent uh, from the this whisper model uh, such as low resource language something like uh, i come from odisha so odia language is uh, missing from the uh, whisper data set so i would like to fine tune it on a very low resource data set and see how it performs